Hey, what you all doing out there? Have you all heard the news that there's going to be a shortage of meat and everything else? And we're coming into hurricane season? What? What are you talking about? Well, guess what, folks? It's true. All right. There's going to be a shortage of meat. If you haven't noticed, if you go to the grocery store, some of the stores, they do have some meat on the shelves, but it's not fully stocked like it used to be. You don't get, really get the... Uh, all the different cuts and everything else. And if you do, you're paying the top price for it, right? So you want to make sure that you're stocking up, especially with hurricane season coming. A lot of people aren't talking about the hurricane season. Everything's the pandemic and all the other BS that's going on out there in this world. Well, guess what, folks? I hate to tell you, but if you live anywhere along the coast, it's hurricane season. It's coming. June 1st. And it always starts early because every six years... The last six years, it started early, but they don't want to change the date. Why would we want to do that? You know, I mean, come on. So you want to be prepared, right? You want to be ready for you and your family. You want to have some meat you can put on the table. Exactly. True. You want to try to pick up some products. Now you can go and you can get freeze dried ground beef and all this type of stuff that's going to last you for 30 years and everything else. And it's going to cost you quite a bit of money because the prices of meat have gone through the roof. All the prices are increasing as we speak. Every time you go to the store, the prices have gone up. Everything is going up. So if you don't start preparing now, you're not going to be able to afford to prepare later. That's the whole point of this video. So we want to make sure that you're picking up some stuff. Go to the store. Go to your favorite grocery store, Walmart, whatever it is, Kroger's, Publix, Winn-Dixie, whatever it is and pick up some hams. You got a DAC ham, you got Goya, they make a good ham, you know? I mean, for, if you have like, if you had to ration this for four people, this is a meal, okay? You have your classic Spam. I know a lot of people just don't like Spam, but you know what? In a pinch, it's meat of some kind, right? I mean, it's the mystery meat, Spam. Sardines. Sardines would be good as a snack or a lunch. You could put it on bread if you know how to make your own bread. Um, you, you could eat it just like that. You know, it's a great snack. You could put it on crackers, anything like that. It's a great snack. And it's full of great omega-3s and everything else. And it'll be healthy for you or your family. Now, I don't think your kids would probably eat that. This would probably be more of a adult food, if you get what I'm saying. Kind of like beer. Corned beef in a can. You get plenty of your, all your nutrition and everything else. You know, corned beef isn't the best thing for you, but it is a meat and you can get it in a can. And it does last for six, seven years by the date. And guess what? It's good for longer than that. As long as you store all this stuff in a proper place, in a cool, dry place, temperature control. Don't store it in your garage or attic, any place like that where the temperatures fluctuate from hot to cold and everything else, you don't want to do that, folks, because it'll be a bad situation. You don't want to eat anything that has gone bad because you didn't store it properly. So you want to store it inside your house where it's temperature controlled, and this way here, everything will be just fine when you need it in a time of emergency. Day more, all right, they make a great beef stew. Now you can get store brands, you can get anything else. Just so happens that they had Denny Moore on sale. So I bought these Denny Moore cans. I just added them to my survival stockpile, to my food. You get everything right in here. You know, you get your meat, potatoes, carrots, it's all covered. And you know what? In a pinch, you wouldn't even have to heat it up. Now, let's just move on right over here. Tuna fish is a give me. Tuna fish is great. You can put that in any type of meal. You can make sandwiches. You can put it into pastas, rice. You can make anything out of this. You got to get creative, folks. That's the whole key. And the name of the game is getting creative in a survival type situation to put something good on the table for you and your family. Now, same with the chicken breast. You can get Swanson's. You can get Great Value. You can get any store brand that is really good for you. The key is you have a meat product to put on the table 
in an emergency type situation. Now remember folks, say you bought your tuna fish or your chicken and everything else and all of a sudden it's getting close to the date. Well, guess what? Dehydrate it. Dehydrate it, put it in Mylar bags, then take and put an oxygen absorber in there, seal that bad boy up. If you did it correctly and you dried it correctly, it's going to last you for a very long time past this date. We're talking a very long time, depending on how you store your products. Like I did say, you need to store your stuff, no matter if you dehydrate it, if it's in cans, however it is, it's got to be stored in a temperature controlled environment. This way here, you'll get to maximize life out of your food and your hard earned money. Now, you can also pick up pink salmon in a can. Now, believe it or not, folks, this is good until 2025. Look at that. You get salmon in a can. Now, all you have to do is make sure that you have a manual can opener because these don't come in pull tops, baby. So you have to make sure you have a manual can opener. This way here, you can open this bad boy up. You drain off the liquid. If you have a way to cook, which you should if you have been preparing, this way here, you could fry this up with a little breadcrumbs and serve it with some rice, a pasta, whatever you want, and a veggie, and you have a good, solid omega-3 meal that's good for your heart, good for your soul. It gives you something different to eat in an emergency type situation besides tuna fish and chicken if you are stockpiling. So this is survival preparedness for beginners. And I wanted to bring you a quick video on some canned meats that you want to make sure that you're stocking up on. Because, yes, there is a meat shortage coming. And it's rolling around the corner. And your prices at the grocery store are just going up and up. So you might want to jump on the bandwagon really soon and make sure that you're stocking up on any type of meat that you can buy. That you can take and either dehydrate, put into your closet, your pantry, Wherever you store your foods, just make sure that it's not in your garage or your attic, folks. Just a word of advice, because it ain't going to last too long, especially if you live anywhere in the South. And if you do live in the North, you have to worry about things warming up and then freezing. So you want to make sure that you're just following along and you make sure that you're doing everything that you need to be doing and that you're prepping everything that you need to be prepping. So this way here, you'll survive the storm. Till next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.